So Blizzard, they've been busy. They made a card game, a MOBA, and they fixed Diablo. Wait, is, is StarCraft still a thing? I don't know. But then there's Warcraft, and yes, it's still a thing, and yes, it's still blowing my socks off. But here's the thing. See, a while back, I made this video called Minutes in Gaming, World of Warcraft, Over Time, where I talked about how World of Warcraft has changed. Over time. And I listed some pros and cons, based on my opinion. Now, that video got a little bit of attention, you know, a few likes and comments here and there, nothing to sneeze at. Then fast forward 9 months to BlizzCon and suddenly Blizzard is announcing this expansion for World of Warcraft called Warlords of Draenor. Now, hold up. S stop. Okay? Hold the phone. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's review, okay? So, to put this in perspective, chicks were getting knocked up around the time I made my Minutes in Gaming video, and then they were having those babies around the time Blizzard announces Warlords of Draenor, and I have a theory. Alright, so check this out. Here's my theory. Blizzard obviously saw my video, okay? Mike Morheim gathers everybody in the room. He's like, all right, Metzen, Zarim, Mumper, and Ghostcrawler. No, wait, sorry, he's not working for us anymore. He's now developing League of Losers. <clears throat> so, the Kephas has spoken, and we must act accordingly. That's exactly what happened. And if you don't believe me, clearly you haven't watched my video, in which case you should go watch it. So here's a link, go watch and come back, okay? And if you have seen it, then you know exactly where this is going, because some, if not all, of the less awesome features that I talked about in that video about this game are being addressed in Warlords of Draenor. For example, let's start with flying mounts. In my video, I explain how flying mounts were awesome, they were extremely convenient, but in general, they made the game a little bit less fun, they made questing a lot easier, and no one likes flying around looking at the sky. We like to be down in the world. So, for the sake of convenience, we're losing immersion in the game. And clearly, Blizzard felt the same way when they decided to completely remove flying mounts in the Warlords of Draenor expansion. By that, I mean, when you go to the new zones, you will not fly. Not when you hit max level. Not ever. Indefinitely, there will be no flying in Draenor. So you can fly in the old zones, but not the new ones. Now. A lot of people are excited, a lot of people are upset, and I can understand because here's the thing. You see, there's a saying that goes, you cannot put the toothpaste back in the tube. What that means is, we have gotten extremely accustomed to the convenience of a flying mount. Now Blizzard is going to try to offset this lack of convenience with better flight paths, and hopefully that'll fix some things, because I don't mind flying around, landing, and then running and riding around on my ground mounts to where I'm going. Also, this allows me to showcase my ground mounts more, which usually, in my opinion, the ground mounts are a lot cooler anyways. And then there's leveling. I explain how leveling has felt extremely rushed now, because most of us, we've played the game for a while, we already have our mains in max level, and new players want to catch up to their friends, so Blizzard felt the need to rush the leveling experience because there are so many levels now. It used to take you a long time to level to max, but now it's pretty quick. The problem with this is that you rush through the zone so fast you don't even get to see all the content without having to backtrack, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's also not the best game design. So instead of increasing the leveling experience again, Blizzard has implemented a new feature in the game called a boost to level 90, which is right at the beginning of the new content in Warlords of Draenor. So rather than rushing through 90 levels again, you can just pay, well, 60 bucks, which is a hefty price, but you're going to have an instant level 90 character. I like this, because it leaves leveling alone and the old leveling experience, which is already rushed, but at least it's not going to get even more rushed and get even more diluted, and their answer to this level inflation is here. Boost to 90, you're set. On top of that, they're looking at the new questing experience in Warlords of Draenor. We're going back to 10 levels instead of 5. And they're looking to make the zones extremely dynamic, and their goal is to allow you to experience all the content you want in the zone before you move on, which is exactly how a leveling experience should be. Because if we're just looking to rush, why not remove leveling from the game altogether? And perhaps the most important thing that I discussed in my last video was the social philosophy of WoW. At the end of Wrath and then Cataclysm with the inclusion of Dungeon Finder and later on Raid Finder, it seemed as though Warcraft was encouraging players to be anonymous. It was encouraging pugging. It was rewarding players for grouping up 
without a second thought with just random players and doing dungeons. Now again, this was extremely convenient because it's hard for a lot of players to find friends to play with. However, in Warlords of Draenor, this philosophy is changing to the realization that Warcraft, like it or not, is a much better experience, like anything, when you play it with your friends. And the game needs to encourage that. So, in Dungeon Finder, when you group up with friends, you will be rewarded with bonus valor. This should encourage us all to seek out our friends, schedule our time so that we can enjoy the experience more. This encourages the social philosophy that everything is indeed better with friends. But this does not stop with Dungeon Finder. This also goes into Raid Finder. The entire raiding structure of Warcraft will be changed in World of the Draenor. LFR, also referred to as Raid Finder, will become more of a tourist experience, as it should be. Raid Finder, which should have never been part of the progression experience, will become the place for players who don't have the time to raid, who aren't looking to gear up, but who want to see the content. They can go there, they can see their content, and everybody's happy. But Blizzard has already implemented a system called Flex Raiding, which allows players to have a little bit of a lesser difficulty from normal, but a little bit more of a difficulty from LFR to have anywhere from 10 to 20 players to raid with. So, not only does this allow you to be flexible in your raid team, it also is a little bit easier, so it adds another depth to the raiding experience. Also, it encourages you to group up again with your friends. Then of course there's normal and heroic or mythic or whatever they're calling it raids. So basically, Blizzard's philosophy, which has been seemingly to encourage pugging, is now gone. Forget convenience. I want to raid with my friends. And if I'm not raiding with my friends, I don't want to raid anyways. So why does it matter? You see, so this, adding in these systems, adding in these bonuses, adding in these encouragements for us to group up with our friends will inherently allow us to enjoy the experience so much more because now we are playing with the people who we should be playing with. Because if you're not doing this social game with your friends, why play it at all? And lastly, Blizzard is practically doing away with the daily questing system in Warcraft and replacing it with a more dynamic system like what we experienced in Timeless Isle, which to me was like the redemption of Mist of Pandaria, along with all of 5.4. And while I have not even begun to scratch the surface in all the features added in Warlords of Draenor, it seems as though Blizzard is trying to revitalize the social experience and the immersion in World of Warcraft. It's like they're bringing back the massively multiplayer in this massively multiplayer online role-playing game. And if you ask me, that's exactly what we need.